CBAI. Hey all, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to use the extend feature in Suno. Big thanks to viewers and commenters, Lyrical Comments 9067, Russell Bird, Schneider, S5F, MXX720, and Cadence Lab for leaving me comments that I suggested and gave me uh, questions and ideas that inspired me to make this video. Let me show you and jump in there. On the first way to do extend is you can use the create panel. So let's go over here to create and click on that. Then let's pretend that that's all blank. So let's say I've got a song, I want to do uh, extend, click on the song that you want, then click on remix edit or on the ellipses button, either one will do, and then we'll go into extend right here. It may ask you if you want to overwrite your styles or keep them current. I'll just go ahead and keep it current. It will pull over the song uh, time for time form over here uh, and then you can click the play button down here if you'd like to choose pick and choose which part of the song you want to extend from and then you would use the slider bar to choose where you want to extend now when you're extending you're not necessarily just replacing a section of lyrics and keeping things the same after it's really this whole gray area imagine you're just cutting that out of your song and then you're generating at this big pink bar you're generating for example here at two minutes and six seconds I'm creating all new music, although I can use different tools to influence Suno to make it closer or more different than the music that comes before it. So just like uh, before, you can go in and put in whatever you want your lyrics to, as it says here, it write lyrics to insert after two minutes and six seconds. So you would put those in there. The styles and the rest of the prompting is mostly the same. Depending on what you want to do with your extension, maybe you want to keep it very similar to the audio that's before, or maybe you want your music to trans into a, transition into sounding it differently. You can do different uh, prompting in the styles area, and then you can use experiment with the weirdness, style influence, and audio influence uh, knobs here, or the faders to um, get the result you want. It will take some experimentation. I can tell you from uh, playing around with this prior to making this video, you can get different versions. But essentially, that's all. Then you click Create. We will uh, Your songs will start generating, so I've got some new ones. Now let's say you're going through and then you found a song that you did like. Uh, for example, maybe I like this minute and 28 section extension. This is not the full song. So what we got to do is go over to click on Get Full Song right here. And then once we do that, we can click on show new clips or just scroll up and you'll see that the uh, the full song is loading. And so this will be the new song that I've extended um, based on the one that I picked. You will know that that is the case because it'll say full song next to uh, the version or the title of the song. So in short version, that's how you do it in the uh, create panel. The next way you can do this in Suno is if you open it up in the new editor, you can go over to Remix Edit again and go over to Open an Editor, and then we'll pull the track in. I'll wait for that to load. Okay, so now I pulled this track into the editor. <clears throat> I'm personally not a big fan of using the new song editor for the extending because you have less control. Rather, what you can do here is uh, go ahead and pick the section, it's the spot that you want to extend from, and then drag it over and click on this extend button right here. And then it will give you a little bit of a change. Although, like I said, I don't really like doing it this way because you can't really edit anything. You can't change the lyrics. It goes into immediately into replace lyrics mode. So I get, it's not really my favorite, but if you were okay with all of the lyrics prompt and you didn't want to change it and you just wanted to try out different endings, maybe you could do this. Uh, go ahead, play around with it if it's if it's your style, if you like it. But you would just, uh, again, you would click on this button, make sure you've got the spot that you like, and then click the extend button. And then I'll, I'll wait for that to load. So now I have my alternate extensions in the new editor. So I could go down here and I could preview them if I wanted by clicking play. If I did want to use one of them, I could go ahead, click the insert button here, or they will also show up over here in my edits. You could listen to them there to preview and insert. Or if you didn't like any of them, you could click original audio to put in the original before you had extended. Or you could click re-extend if you wanted to generate some more replacements for it. So that's how you would do it in the new editor. Next, let's go ahead and try it, except this time in the legacy editor. The way that you would do this in the legacy editor is go over to the legacy editor button, click on it, and it's going to pull up your song there. 
If you were in the uh, Suno library or you were viewing your song, simply go over to the ellipses button and then go over to Remix Edit and click on uh, Open an Editor. And then from there, you will have to manually do this button that I just showed you and it will bring you into the Legacy Editor. All right, now that I'm in the, uh, uh, the Legacy Editor, I would go up to Extend up here on the top, click on it, the screen is going to look a little different, uh, but essentially what you would do is you would choose the spot down here using a slider for where you want to extend from. Or you could, uh, looks like you could type it in here if you wanted to. All right, so maybe I want to extend from there. Then down here uh, on the left, you can uh, actually do a little bit more of the editing type of things. So maybe I wanted to add more lyrics. Maybe I wanted to add a new chorus after this instrumental part like that. I can go over here on the lyric side. My styles are here, exclude styles is here, and then the edits I've been generating are going to pop up here. So even though I was in the new editor, my uh, edits will show over here. So I would just click generate extensions when I want that. Or it should let me do it. There we go. All right. So now I have a few more that are uh, generating. Uh, if I wanted to try out another um, one of the ones I previously did, I would just click on it, and then it should uh, start playing itself. Uh, okay. So, so that was me trying out uh, this version. If I wanted to apply it, I would have it here, and then I would click on Apply Extension right here. And then it'll say Extending Clip. And it's going to create a um, a new clip of your song. So your old one will still be available. It's kind of like it's opening up a new space in the Legacy Editor. So here's my new song, and now it's loading. So now my extended track has uh, loaded up that I just added, uh, applied that new extension into the Suno Legacy Editor. So it's over here. Yeah, so there's the extension. So in the legacy editor, it's also not the most intuitive. It loads in, and when you commit it, <clears throat> it loads in the new edit as a new track for you. And so if you wanted to find this in the library, uh, or if you wanted to find your old track, you'd have to go in and pull it back up. So again, it's not the most intuitive way of doing things. Lastly, you can do Extend in Suno Studio, which requires the Premiere subscription. Uh, it's probably the most intuitive way of doing things now uh, versus these other methods. Uh, to get into the studio, uh, go to wherever you're working on one of your songs. I'll go over to my library here, pull it up. Uh, so why don't I just pull this one that we were just looking at. Uh, go over to the ellipses button and then uh, go to remix edit and open in studio if you have that or you may be able to depending on the screen it might just say remix edit and you can click that button but either way we're going to go into open in studio and then I will let that load as well. So now my track is pulled up into uh, Suno Studio. I, in this case, have the whole song. To uh, extend in here, I would choose the track and then click on the section header up here. And then over on the right-hand side, you have a details paint panel. And then there's going to be the remix button right here, or you could again go to your ellipses button. So if I click on remix, I can click on extend. It will pull over on the left in the create pane, just like we were looking at at the beginning of this video. And you can extend from there and write in whatever whatever you need to do. And then click the create button. And so I'll wait for that to load. What's going to happen is you have a library pane. You can tell by this little library icon. So I will collapse my create pane. Now in my library pane, I have created my new extensions. And they are still loading. Now that my song in the library um, has loaded, I can pull it over into Studio. So again, Studio Studio is a GAW similar to DAW, so we have a work a pro audio production space. So I would have to go find that spot in Suno and then just drag it in and add it in as if I wanted that as my as my ending. Um, I'm just doing it for demo purposes. It's not the exact spot, but you get the idea. And then uh, you know, in this case, I'd have to delete off the ending of the song. Uh, or, for example, I have this one, maybe it's a little longer, whatever, so I could drag that in there. 
So that is how you would do the extend in uh, Suno Studio. Overall, I would say the fastest to do the editing is in the Suno Studio. Uh, the fastest or the simplest, if you don't have Suno Studio, I would say probably is just use this Create Pane and then use the Get Whole Song button. Um, but overall, that is a basic rundown of the different ways that you could use the Extend feature in Suno. If you found this video helpful, please give me a subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can always get new up updates on the videos I release on Music AI. Uh, leave a comment below, ideas you'd like for new songs, constructive criticism, feedback, whatever you like. I like to take that information and refine the product that we're putting out here at CBAI. Uh, and then like this video if you liked it. And until next time, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one and take care.